There are quite a few videos out there about running Plan 9 or 9 Front in virtual machines. Uh, lots of demos on YouTube of Plan 9 and VirtualBox, and I don't blame them. VirtualBox on Windows is pretty easy to set up and try out a standalone Plan 9 terminal. And there are some instructions out there for running Plan 9 with QEMU on Linux. Uh, but my sympathies lie elsewhere, so I'll do something a little different. I've been a pretty regular user of FreeBSD since release 4. When I want a box to sit quietly in the corner and do some Unix task with no surprises, FreeBSD is what I go to. Uh, the documentation is great. They strive to make upgrades as smooth as possible. They've done a lot to integrate ZFS, which makes managing a file server a breeze. And now FreeBSD has an in-house virtualization system called Beehive. There is a short write-up on Ninefront's website to boot Ninefront up with Beehive. I used it as a template. Um, my setup is going to be a little fancier. First, I have a four-port networking card in my FreeBSD file server, so I have a port to spare. So rather than deal with setting up taps and stuff, I'm going to do a straight PCI pass-through of one of the network ports. It's an Intel card, and uh, Ninefront supports it. Uh, the other is that I have a stack of platter drives in a ZFS pool, and that gives me the option to create a Z volume that can appear as a block device. And I'll use the Vert IO system to use that for my virtual hard drive. For PCI pass through of the NIC, I first had to tell FreeBSD to uh, leave it alone. That's what this little option here. Um, I also had to add some stuff for working with an AMD CPU, so it's a little extra thing for FreeBSD. Uh, the example on ninefront.org has both a start and a stop script. And I can tie those in with the FreeBSD's RC init system. So I wrote a script that enables it in rc.conf, and that let me use the same commands to bring up the virtual machine um, as I would to bring up or take down the web server or the Samba server. Uh, it also means that the virtual machine will boot up um, automatically when the file server reboots. So let's see, this will be the script I use to um, initially install the nine front on the server. And so I had to have a option for a frame buffer, so I'd have a screen. And the wait option here means it will um, pause booting the system until the BNC client connects. Um, I also had to set a CD-ROM disk with the install ISO. So it's not in here now because I took it out when I booted it up after doing the install. But you'd put in a, an option for a, a CD-ROM device and the install. Um, since my file server has no monitor and just Nine threat through VNC is not as nice as draw term. I did go through the post install steps to um, set up a CPU server on it. So the final, actually, so this is what it now uses to boot up. It just has uh, the hard drive, which is pulled in from the Z volume here, and I took out the uh, reference to the frame buffer because now it just boots as a CPU server. It doesn't need a monitor. And this is what it looks like in draw term. So we can see here, can see the AMD CPU through there. And it picks up the networking card through the PCI pass-through. And yeah, the hard drive comes through as the uh, Vert IO device right there. So 
I can also use it. So the point of this was really to set it up so I could test out integrating my local grid with a remote nine front living in a virtual machine. Um, so I'm gonna have to go through and uh, do a bunch of stuff with administrative boundaries, auth domains, factotum settings. But for now, it is possible to dial in to my uh, into my local grid. And from here, I can actually ping computers inside the grid. Well, I can actually use their names too. But anyway, so something new to mess with and uh, hope you found it helpful. And in the meantime, have fun.